Hello ROS developers and welcome to the ROS questions and answers video series. If you want to learn anything about ROS, this is your channel. ROS navigation, ROS with drones, ROS for autonomous cars, everything ROS is here. Learn ROS step by step and push your ROS learning in just 10 minutes of video. I am Alberto Zquerro and today we are going to learn about AirVis and how to create and save a configuration file for AirVis. For the video of today, we are going to be using the Robot Ignite Academy. For those that already don't know what the Robot Ignite Academy is, it is our online academy where you will find practical online ROS courses using simulated robots. No installation required. You will find a link to the academy on the video description. And now, let's go for the video. So, as I've said, what I want to explain today is how to save a configuration file for AirVis so that you don't need to configure and to add the displays each time you open AirVis. So for instance, let's try one of the courses. For this case, I'm going to use the navigation, the ROS navigation in five days because in this course you need to use quite a lot AirVis. So I think it's a good example for, for this. So I'm going to start the course, the platform, and I will need to wait a few seconds until the whole environment is loaded. It doesn't take too much, you'll see. Yeah, so here it is loading everything, as you can see. Here I have the notebook with all the theory and explanation and exercises and etc. Here we have the simulation window which is being loaded right now. Here I have the IDE, where I can manage my files, edit them, create new files, delete them, etc. And here it is the simulation screen. And finally, the shells down here. Uh, great, so let's try to follow the first exercise. If I don't remember wrong, we need to use our VS here and do some stuff. So I'm going to use this example here. And basically here what I need to do is to configure this to be able to visualize path planning. So I need the cost maps, the plans, and uh, 2D tools in this case won't be necessary. So yeah, I'm going to execute this first command in order to launch the move base node. So let's execute this command here and in another shell let's launch Ervis with this command here, ROS run Ervis Ervis. And then I will need to open here the graphical interface in this button in order to be able to visualize our this. Here it will appear. Let's log in. And there we are. Here I have our this, as you can see. Okay, and in this case, it, everything is already configured. So let me remove everything. Remove. Okay. And let's close Ervis and let's try to launch it again. Okay. Yeah, so in, in my case here, I already have it saved. So it's loading my predefined config configuration. So what I'm going to do is to remove this and uh, I'm going to save my configuration. There we are, I think it has been saved. So let's now, yes, close our vis and open it again. And now it should open empty. There we are. So now I have an empty RVs. Excellent. And okay. So yeah, here, first of all, what I am going to add, it's the robot model. Let's add the robot model so that I can see my Husky robot here in RVs. So I'm going to add a robot model Next, I'm going to add a laser scan to be able to visualize the laser readings. So I'm going to open the laser scan and I'm going to configure it. Here, let's configure the topic, which in this case it's scan. There we are. And I'm going to make the readings a little bit bigger so that I can visualize them. Excellent. So here I have my laser readings. 
And then I will need a couple of map displays to visualize the cost maps. So let's, uh, here it is, one map and I'm going to duplicate it. There we are. And the first one I'm going to load the global cost map, which is, I'm going to let it hit like this, uh, with the map color scheme, to differentiate it from the local cost map, which I'm going to put it with the color scheme of a cost map. And the topic, of course, let's select it. Excellent. So in this case I'm not seeing anything because the range of my cost map doesn't detect any, any obstacle, but let's, let's try to move a little bit Husky. To, no, it's Husky Lounge, where the keyboard tutorial is, yes. Yes, here it is. Okay, so let's move a little bit this Husky robot so that it detects obstacles. Let's move it, for instance, on that direction. A little bit. Let's increase the speed. Okay, let's see if now I am detecting something. Okay, yeah, so as you can see now I am detecting some things. So let's leave it like this. And yeah, finally I'm going to add the paths. Let's add here a couple of path displays for the global plan and for the local plan. Sorry, I wanted to duplicate it. There we are. And here I'm going to select the global planner. Ah, no, this is the local planner. This is the global plan of the local plan. Yeah, maybe you don't know what I'm talking about, but if uh, you want to learn all of this, you can have a look at this course, the Ross Navigation in Five Days, where everything is explained, all these navigation things. And, okay, no, I don't need to add anything else. I'm just going to select here the global plan, let's say. Excellent. And now, let's, for instance, rename all of these. I'm going to name it as global plan. This will be the local plan. This, I will name it the local cost map. In this one I will name it the global cost map. Excellent, and this I don't need to change it because it's quite clear, this is the laser scans. So great, now I have a, a customized configuration of our bees with everything named, the global plan, local plan, local cost map and global cost map, which is basically what this exercise asks for, as you can see, visualize the cost maps and visualize the plans. And now, what happens now? If I close RVs without saving, all of this will be lost, yes? So what I'm going to do is, let's say, okay, for instance, mm, I'm going to create a package here, which I'm going to call, let's say, uh, first of all, let's go to the cutting workspace SRC directory. And I'm going to create a package here and call it, let's say, Husky uh, Navigation. Yes? Or Husky, Husky Nav uh, Curse, or Husky Nav RVs, for instance. Okay, so I'm going to create this package here I have it, Husky Nav RVs, and inside here I'm going to create a folder which I'm going to call RVs. Yes, so I have this package here which is called Husky Nav RVs, and inside the package I have an RVs folder. So now what I'm going to do here in RVs is that I'm, I am going to, okay, as you can see now I cannot see the top bar, so I'm going to click here in order to reorganize this. There we are. Let's maximize this. 
and now I have here my top bar. If, if this happens to you, you can solve it by clicking here. Uh, you need to click here and then click back again and you will see this top bar so that you can uh, maximize it, minimize it, move it, whatever you want. And here I'm going to do a safe config as, okay? Then as you can see here I have uh, one configuration saved which is called navrvis, but for this I recommend you to save it in your own workspace, so in your Catkin workspace src. And that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go to my Catkin workspace, src, my package has kinavrvis, and inside the ervis folder, which I have just created, so inside this folder I'm going to save here my configuration. And I'm going to call it path planning ervis. Save. Okay? So now, Let's refresh this, the whole thing. And as you can see, inside my Ervis folder, it has appeared this new file, which is Path Planning Ervis, which contains all the configuration that I have just created and saved it. Yes? So now let's close Ervis and let's open it again. And as you can see, everything is lost, but now I can easily Okay, I need to do this again, great. So now I can easily come here, select the open, co open configuration folder, and I can come to my package, which is this Husky Nav Ervis, inside the Ervis folder, and I can load here, I click on the open button, discard, and I have my configuration perfectly loaded here, yes? And also, what you can do, if you don't want to do it like this, you can load it directly by using the rosrun command. So you can do a rosrun ervis, ervis, which is the same command that you would use to load uh, an empty ervis, let's say. And here, you can add the minus d attribute and do a rospack find of your package, which in this case it's husky, sorry, husky nav ervis, uh, yeah, and then here you specify the folder of your package and the name of the file you want to load, which in this case it's plus planning.ervis. Yes? So, ah, oh, sorry, here it's uh, path planning, reviews, here it's ROS pack, not ROS act. Okay, there we are. So let's, now we can execute this command here. And, okay, so in this case it's not detecting it. Okay, yeah, I think I know what's going on here. This, uh, yes, okay, yeah, there we are, there we are, yes, so this here, yeah, so it needs to be this symbol here, yes, the curved one, not the upper comma, yes. Uh, so yeah, as you can see, with this command, you can automatically load the file, the Ervis file that you want, without having to do anything in Ervis. Yes, you can load it directly through the command line like this, yes, as you can see, there we are. Yes, so the Ervis file is automatically loaded. And well, yeah, that was all for this video. In the description of the video, I'm going to put this ROS navigation course in case you are interested and everything, all the resources I have mentioned it in, in this video, like the link to the Robotic Knight Academy. 
And also, did you like the video? If you did, please give us a thumbs up and remember to subscribe to our channel and press the bell for a new video every day. Either you like it or not, please share your thoughts and questions in the comment area. Goodbye and see you in the next video.